Topology, as applied to zero-dimensional systems, which is what you've learned so far, might feel like glorified counting. Nothing worth an ADX course. To see the full power of topology, we will need to introduce a notion of space by studying one-dimensional systems. This will show us one of the most important things there is to know about topological systems, namely the bulk edge correspondence. The bulk edge correspondence of a topological system is what allows the edge to develop totally unique properties which can only exist because of the bulk. The bulk edge correspondence is similar to the appearance of poles at the ends of a magnet. The north and south poles at the ends of a magnet can never appear on their own in isolation from the magnet itself. Some topological invariants are similar to the properties of the bulk of a magnet. Whenever an insulating bulk of a material is topologically non-trivial, its edges acquire properties that are impossible to create alone without the bulk. This is the bulk edge correspondence that is the source of all power of the idea of topology in condensed matter systems, and that allows us to construct physical systems with fundamentally unique behavior impossible without using topological effects. The topic of this subsection, one-dimensional systems, are rather easy to make by stringing together a chain of zero-dimensional systems. So, we can stack superconducting quantum dots into what is called a Kitaev chain. Once we do this, voila, we have room for a more serious example of the bulk edge correspondence, namely the Majorana modes. Majorana modes turn out to be remarkably interesting objects for a variety of reasons. Yet, when you get around to the first figure, and the first few lines of algebra in the first unit of the subsection, you will see that Majorana modes in the Kitaev chain are about as unique, as simple as a game of dominoes. Personally, this simplicity is what sucked me into obsessing over Majorana modes over time. Something this simple could not elude experimental realization forever. I'm willing to spend a lot of my time looking for something so cool and simple. Getting back to the bulk edge correspondence, the simple example of Majorana modes shows how the bulk edge correspondence of a topological system allows you to do something that would not be possible otherwise, which is to effectively split electrons into isolated Majorana modes at the ends of the chain. Just like the poles of a magnet, the Majorana modes can only occur in pairs at the two ends of the chain and never in isolation. Through all of this, the more mathematically minded of you might wonder if this topology in condensed matter has anything to do with topology in mathematics. In the second part of this subsection, we will um, convince ourselves that these are indeed the same idea by realizing that the bulk edge correspondence actually originates from the way the zero-dimensional block Hamiltonians are pasted together around a periodic momentum space. This is quite analogous to how a Mobius strip is a topological object. You could, for example, consider a strip with a y-axis that represents the block Hamiltonian and an x-axis that represents momentum space. Since the momentum space has periodic boundary conditions, we need to paste the ends of the strip together to represent the system. A boring way of doing this would be to paste the ends of the system into a cylinder, and this would result in two separate edges. On the other hand, pasting the strip with a twist would create only one edge, as in the case of the Mobius strip. Not so metaphorically, how we twisted the middle of the strip affects the number of edges of the system. Much in the same way, the bulk Hamiltonian topology affects the number of edge modes. In summary, the one-dimensional Kitaev chain is an amazing illustration of the defining aspect of a topological phase, namely the bulk edge correspondence. I hope you will be as mesmerized by this model as I still am as you walk through the units of this subsection.